Hey guys, Jagga here. Yeah. In today's video, I am going to be ranking my ColourPop palettes and telling you which one's my fave, which one's my least fave, and all the in between. So, that's what today's video is about. If you enjoy beauty related content, mostly tutorials, which everybody claims they love so much but never watch, what's up with that? Then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Ring the bell and you will become part of the hashtag notification nation. And YouTube, 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 YouTube will alert you as soon as my videos go up. Also, in my description box, make sure you head on over to my social medias where you will see um, sometimes I post looks that I do but I don't make videos on. So if you like the looks that I create but didn't make a video on, you can always request that I make a video on how I made that look and then I'll know that you're interested in seeing how I came about certain looks helps me out, entertains you. I mean, it's a win-win, right? Right, 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 yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, I think that's all I needed to say. Yeah, all right, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so the um, least, my least favorite color pop, and don't get me wrong, I, I love all these color pop. Uh, palettes, but I wanted to rank them because I thought that would be fun for me. I don't know about you, but it's fun for me. So anyways, my least favorite of the palettes that I have is the Blue Moon palette. And I think it's because I don't look great in blues. Um, I mean, I can wear them, but they're not my favorite on me. And for some reason with this palette, I, I feel like there's not a ton you can do with it. I don't know. I just feel like I created the same look twice. Luckily, I only made one video about it, but I used this palette twice and I swear to you, created the exact same look. I think I even used a couple different colors in it and it looked exactly the same. So, I don't know. I mean, it is pretty. It's very pretty. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it is pretty. But, I don't know, there's only so much you can do with blues, you know? I don't know. That's just my opinion. So, my least favorite is the Blue Moon palette. Uh, my second least favorite is the Uh Huh Honey. Um, I do enjoy a bright yellow look, but, I mean, you can't create five million bright yellow I mean yellow looks with this you just I don't know you can't create too much too many different looks with this palette and um I don't know just yellows don't look amazing on me it brings out my green like the green in my eyes which I, I I'm not a huge fan of green in my eyes but it is what it is <laughs> um yeah but other I mean I just don't, I don't look amazing in yellow. And there's really not a ton you can do with this palette either. So, uh-huh, honey. Is the second palette that is my least favorite. The third palette that is my least favorite is Orange Glad. And this is the orange palette. I've only actually used this once. And I believe it's when I did my video. I haven't touched this since. And I think it's because oranges kind of scare me. Um, these are really pretty colors, I must say. Um, but I mean, orange doesn't look great on me. Also brings out the green in my eyes. You know a lot of colors bring out green in my eyes? I don't like that. Face it, Jaggy, you got green in your eyes. You gotta, you gotta go with the flow. Um... But, I mean, it's kind of like the yellow one. You can only do so much with it. And 
they don't look amazing on me. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep this one out and play with it some more and see what I can do. I just feel like there's not a whole lot I can do with it. So this is my third least favorite, Orange Glad. All right. So next is the Meant to Be palette. Oh my gosh, I can't even see. Meant to Be. It says Meant to Be. And it is all mint color. I love mint. I love these colors. These colors are so pretty. But like, mm, I don't think these colors look very good on me. I can't, like, people are like, yeah, you can pull off any color. No, no, I really can't, though. <laughs> there are colors that just ain't doing it for me, and this is definitely one. I have only reached for it the one time, and that's to make a video. Maybe I'll have to play with this one a little more, too. I don't know. It does have those, like, dirty greens and dirty olive colors. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll play with this a little more, but mm, not my fave. Not my fave. Doesn't look great on me. It's hard to do mint. Mint is hard. It's it's a hard color to figure out. So, yeah. This is mint to be and is my fourth least favorite. So, let's see. There's nine altogether. So, we're going to count Blue Moon is nine. Uh, uh -huh, Honey is eight. Orange Glad is seven, and Meant to Be is six. So number five would be Blowin' Smoke. And, uh, I mean, grays look good on me, grays. And, but there's only so much that you can do with this many grays, I mean. I have done, I can do an all matte look. I mean, silver is kind of, I never, like, I used to wear grays all the time because, I don't know, it just made my eyes look good. <laughs> made my eyes look more gray. But, um, I mean, silver, I'm, I think I out wore it way back when, so now I'm just like, Meh. I mean, they look good on me, but at the same time, I was like, silver, silver, I don't know, it's just kind of wild to me. I don't know. I have worn this more than once, though, so, I mean, that's why it's number five, because, I mean, it is what it is, but it still does look good. So, number five, blowing smoke. Number four is just my luck, and I'm not going to lie, that Mary Jane color right there in the middle, that bright, bright neon lemon green, lemon green, yeah, that's right, lemon green, not lime green, maybe it's lime, but it's got like that yellow hint to it though, I don't know, lemon lime green, I guess, uh, that, that, that is, ooh, I love that color, that color is the shit. And, uh, yeah, that kind of did it for me right there. But I also love, like, that dirty green-brown right there. And, like, the olive br greens. I just love, like, the more olive, dirtier color greens. It's just, it go all goes back to, like, the camo situation. I just love camo. And the colors that they have, that they use for camo, it's just... A lot like these, a lot like these. So that is why this one is number four. And number three is It's My Pleasure. And this is a very, very beautiful, beautiful purple palette. And it's more, they're more like pinky purples um but they're so pretty this keeps wanting to go down okay but they're so so pretty 
and it amazed me when I used this color the last time I used this palette. I used this color thinking it was like just brown. No, it's like a purple brown. It was interesting and I was intrigued and I really liked it. So yeah, yeah, that is it's my pleasure. I'm gonna show you this brown though. I'm gonna swatch it for you. Just so you can see how it is more, look at that. It's purple brown, can you tell? I, it just kind of threw me off at first. I was like, oh, yes, that makes sense. Cause at first I was kind of like, why is this brown color in the palette? But then when I put it on, I was like, oh, okay. That's why it's in there. Cause it's a purple brown. I really like that color. I think it's very pretty. So yes, number three is, it's my pleasure. All right, number two. Number two is, lilac you a lot. And I do lilac you a lot. <laughs> Uh, I love this. This palette is so pretty. It is more like purple purple, more like a, the blue tone purples, except for that one. Which, if you ask me, I look at this one and I think, shouldn't that be in the other palette? But, you know, what, whatevs, whatevs. They are all, I guess this one's pinky purple too. But, they are all so, such beautiful purples. They're so shiny as well. Those shimmers are out of this world beautiful. And it's just, I don't know, there's the right tones, the right shades of all the purples to make a few really, really beautiful looks. So that is number two. Lilac you a lot. Yes. And Drum roll, please. The number one color pop palette that I own is Bare Necessities. I am wearing this today. I love this palette. You know why? Because it's an everyday palette. Do I wish there was a mirror? Actually, no, I could care less about a mirror. I'm sure there's a lot of people who wish there was a mirror, but I have a mirror. I don't... If I need a mirror, I'll use a, my handheld or whatever, you know? But this... Oh, so pretty. They are just... You have your cool colors, which some of the cool colors do pull a little more warm than you would think. But... I mean, like... These like burgundy cool shades right here, those are all, these are all so pretty, so pretty. It's just, I don't know, there's warm, there's cool, there's a black in there. I mean, you just kind of have all the neutral you really need in this palette and I love it. I use it a lot. This is the one I use the most, which makes sense why it's number one. Um, but yeah, I don't know, just like the, the copper, the copper shade right there is just so beautiful, and then you got your, your gold shade right there, and then like, you have your beautiful browns, browns and then you have your cool tone brown it's just i don't know you can just do so much with this palette it's great i love it so that is my number one and i don't see any palette from ColourPop ever topping that palette because i use it so much that it's just it really just is my favorite. It's my favorite palette. I use it all the time and I love the look I create every every single time I use it. So I mean, like I said, I used it today. Granted that middle shade is actually a highlighter from the from Fantasy Glow Kit by C Color Cosmetics. The middle highlight shade is actually this like 
Mmm, champagne shade right there. She just looks so good, so. Anyways, so those, that, that is me ranking my ColourPop palettes. I don't know if that helped anybody, like, decide if they want to get any of these or anything, but, you know, hey, maybe you were curious. I don't know. So, yeah, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. Let me know what ColourPop palettes you like or maybe some you've been eyeing or yeah, I don't, if you own any of the ones I own, tell me your thoughts on them. I love to hear back from all of you. And yeah, feel free, feel free. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I will be getting back to the three videos a week. Yay me. Hey, as soon as I figure out what videos I'm going to do next, uh, I got to brainstorm a little. I've been a little uh, preoccupied with everything else. I haven't really brainstormed ideas, but hey, you got any ideas? Leave them in the comments too, because I will take you up on those. <laughs> I will steal them. It's not stealing if you give them to me, right? Anyways, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are staying healthy, staying safe, wearing a mask is the best idea. And um, yeah, I also hope that you have a wonderful day. <laughs>